Uh, hey guys, this is Akshay, and I'm working on a thermochemical energy storage system, and this is the apparatus for that. So, this is the heater that warms up the, the water inside this, uh, this evaporator chamber. These are the pressure gauge. We can see there is a pressure rise. It's 20 PSI right now. These are the pipes that make the vapors go to the storage chamber. And in this, this chamber resides the magnesium oxide. So what happens is, what I'm doing right now is uh, just uh, vaporizing the water using this heater. And then I'll uh, open this wall and then simultaneously this wall and the vapors would travel through from here to uh, to to this chamber and we'll probably see a temperature rise uh, on this computer where I've connected the thermocouple we can already we can actually see there the, when I started the experiment it was like 24 degrees now it has risen to like just 2 degrees so that's not much though but we probably would expect a temperature rise of about 60 to 70 degrees C as, uh, as soon as I open this wall. I'm just waiting for the pressure to like reach 30 or 35 PSI so that, uh, so that I get a good temperature rise on the... In the meantime, we can look at the, my, my data acquisition device. My thermocouple is connected to the terminal 3, I suppose. Yep. It's connected to the 3 one. I'm not using this 4 channel, which you also saw in the computer was open. So this is just an Omega DAQ data acquisition device that I'm using. That's a pretty good one, I would say. Works pretty well. Okay, so temperature, uh, the pressure is more than 30 PSI that I can see off. I'm just about to open them. Let's look at the temperature, how it, how it rises. As soon as I open the wall, I would say. So we can see there was a temperature rise. pretty quickly it's going down that's not what I wanted exactly to go down very quickly but there was a temperature rise that's a positive that I can take it out this has now become very hot can't touch it yeah you can touch it it's not that hot Mm, there is again a temperature rise. I would oh, sorry, the pressure rise. I will just do this exercise one more time just to show you. How this thermocup thermal chemical like storage works. Okay, let's work with ten PSI. So let's see what happens. I've opened this now before I've opened this. Okay, so let's look at the temperature rise. hardly any of that pressure that's that I expected though so that's it this is my experiment <laughs>